Hi everybody, this is Parker from testpropchampions.com and I'm going to film another GED Math Practice Problem of the Day video. This is it right here. So thank you for joining me for that and please if you're new around here hit that subscribe button. I do make these GED Math videos often because I want to help you pass the GED Math section as fast as possible and with the highest score possible. So hit that subscribe button then you're not going to miss any videos. Okay, so you guys know the drill. Please pause the video, try it out on your own first, then we'll go over it. Okay, so hopefully you got a chance to go over this problem on your own. If not, that's okay. We'll go over it right now either way. So the first thing that I want to do is let's label the rectangle here. So we want to find the area and perimeter of the rectangle. So first, we want to be mindful of the lengths of the different sides. Okay, so I'm going to draw one slash here, and I'm going to draw one slash down here on this side because these two sides are going to be equal in length. Okay, so this is going to be the length. So I'm going to make write the length with a cursive L because that's how it usually shows up in your textbook. Okay, and so this side here is your length. Okay, and the parallel side, the, the opposite side is parallel. Okay, and that's also your length. And that is going to be 32 as well. Okay, so let me pick a different color. Uh, I'm feeling like blue right now, so we'll go with blue. And so what we also want to do is we'll look at, let's look at these sides here. So the 12 and the side directly opposite and across from the, this side is also going to be 12. Okay, so I'm going to mark this with two slashes and mark this side with two slashes stating that both of these sides are equal and opposite. Okay, and so now that we've got all of the sides of the triangle labeled, oh, and also note that this is going to be our width. Okay, so we can also go on now and look at our formulas. So one more note I want to make, just a, a fun fact that you'll need to know for the GED test, is that in a rectangle there are four right angles. They're going to be represented by these little box type looking things in the corners of the rectangle. And you've got four 90 degree angles, so those are all going to add up to 360 degrees. Just file that away in the back of your head. That's not relevant to this problem, but you'll want to know that for other sections, for other practice problems on the GED and on the real test. So let's look at the formulas here. So I'm going to write the formula for area. So I'm just going to abbreviate it with an A. So the formula for area of a rectangle is length times width. And there's two ways to write the formula for perimeter. So usually the way that they write it, and I think the preferred way of getting it if you're doing a calculation is to think of it as 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And I think it's faster to plug this into your calculator, but I'll show you the other way. And I think the other way makes more sense conceptually. So the other way to do it is to just think about it as length plus length plus width plus width. And either formula is the same. These are the same thing because 2L is the same as saying L plus L, and 2W is the same as saying W plus W. It's just... I think that this one is easier to think of conceptually because what, what you're doing for the perimeter is you're just adding up the size. You're just going around the world. You're just doing 12 plus 32 plus 12 plus 32. Okay, but you this one is probably faster to just plug this into your calculator. Two times a number plus two times a number. Although I guess, you know, it doesn't really take you that much time to plug either into your calculator. So whichever one you want to want to use. And just so you know, none of these formulas you're going to have to memorize for the test. Okay, they're all going to be given to you, but the area and the perimeter are two formulas that you'll definitely need to know how to do. Okay, so for the area calculation, all we do is the length times width. So we'll have 12 times 32. Okay, and you can just simply plug this into your calculator, and that's going to give us 384. And I know that because I did this before I did the problem. So we've got 384 is going to be our area. And then for the perimeter, okay, let's use this formula right here. Like I said, the formulas are both the same thing. It's just however, whichever one is easier for you to use, whichever one you'd prefer. They're both the same exact thing. It's just written a little bit differently. So 2L is going to be 2 times our length, which is 32. And so then I just realized I wrote the length and the width backwards for the area calculation, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's the same. It's the same thing. Okay, so you got 2 times 32 plus 2 times the width, which is 12. And you could also write this as 2w plus 2l. Is this going to come out the same way? And so in this case, what we have is, let's see, 2 times 32 gives us 64. Okay, and then plus 24, right? Because 2 times 12 is 24. 
And so that's going to be 4 plus 4 is 8. 6 plus 2 is 8, so 88. So we have an area of 384, and we've got a perimeter of 88. So A is going to be the correct answer. So hopefully this makes sense to you, and hopefully this video is helpful for you. This question came right out of my book, The GED Math Champions Guide. I have a 50 problem free sample with the solutions that are going to tell you how to do this question and all kinds of other questions uh, very in-depth. So you'll want to check that out. The link's down below. Thanks for watching. Again, please hit the subscribe button. Please give me a, a thumbs up. Please give me some feedback. Let me know if you like this video, if you hated it. What can I do differently to make this more entertaining, more interesting, more informative for you? Let me know. I'm Parker from TestPropChampions.com. Good luck with your tests. Let me know how you do.